how to install and set up micro g on your custom roms which are based on aosp and android 11 without having to root your device hey peeps what's up munchy here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can install and set up micro g on vanilla builds of android 11 custom roms without having to root your device do note your custom rom does need to support signature spoofing and we are going to check that but if your custom rom does not support signature spoofing then this video is not for you so here it is i do have the poco f1 which right now is running an official build of arrow os do note this is the vanilla build of arrow os of course based on android 11. first thing we need to do is check whether our rom supports signature spoofing or not so how do you do that we need to go to a website which again is linked in the description of the video and this one is called f droid here in tap on download f droid so once you tap on download f droid you will have to give it access to your photos and media say allow and there it is in the background f droid was downloaded successfully this is an apk file next thing let us go ahead and open our file manager application and then we can go into the download folder because this is where f droid apk would be so we need to install this apk and of course you might have to give the file manager application permissions to install apks on your device once f droid has installed successfully we are going to say open this and of course you do need an active internet connection during all of this process it is updating the repositories right now so we have to be patient and wait for the process to be done now once the process has finished successfully we can tap on this green icon which is your search and here in search for spoof s p o o f once you do that you will have something called signature spoofing checker we need to install this so tap on this and then select install it will download and then again we do need to let f droid install apks so allow from this source then we can go back and tap on install and tap on install one more time now signature spoofing checker has been installed successfully all we need to do is open it and then tap on allow for the permission and here it is you can see signature spoofing is enabled in arrow os now what if your rom signature spoofing is not enabled then unfortunately this video won't help you out and before you ask me how do you get a rom to enable signature spoofing well all you have to do is ask your rom developer to support that for micro g purposes and i hope they will oblige next thing we need to do is download a package so we will go back to our browser and this time around we need to go to this page of min micro g and of course hosted on github open source that's why we are using it so we are going to use a micro g package to install it and of course you have multiple packages which are available you can read on this page whichever one suits you the best i am going to use the standard edition for the purpose of this video because it does have the google play store which is modded for iap or in app purchases where do you get this you need to go to the releases page and here is the releases page for min micro g installer and this is the latest one at the time of recording this video so all you need to do is select assets and here and choose whichever version you want to as i mentioned earlier i am going to use the standard version so i'm going to select or tap on this standard zip and that is going to download it it wants to ask me whether i want to continue or cancel so i'm going to say continue so i just got a notification that the file has been downloaded so here it is min micro g standard has been downloaded without any issues and now if i go back to my file manager application here it is min micro g standard file is here in the download folder next thing we need to do is we need to install this so here it is we are in the download folder where we have the file and we are using a file manager so just press and hold on this one make sure it is selected tap on the three dot menu on the top right and then you need to rename this file 
and as you can see it is not downloaded as a zip file so for starters let us add the extension dot zip so that we can flash it and then at the beginning you need to add the word system hyphen so at the beginning add the word system hyphen and then select okay why are we adding system hyphen we are doing this because the developer has coded the file in a way that if you add system hyphen to the beginning in fact not hyphen just system to the beginning it is going to flash it to the system partition in twrp so the next thing we need to do is we need to boot into our custom recovery which is twrp so again press and hold power and volume up together once you've turned off your device and once you see the twrp logo you can let go of the button combination of course the process of entering recovery might be different for your device but for my poco f1 it is power and volume up together so here it is we have booted into twrp recovery installation as easy as going into install and then of course go into the download folder where the file is select this min micro g standard and then swipe to confirm flash and there it is you will notice a warning forcing a system action this means it is installing it to the system partition i think the zip is capable enough of handling a b partitions as well as long as your partitions can be mounted in read write anyways next thing installation is complete there were no errors let us say reboot system so here it is we have booted back into my rom which is arrow os and now if i open the application drawer bam here it is you have the aurora store you also have micro g you also have a play store first of all let us go ahead and check the current version of micro g which was installed so the version which was installed was 0.2.1 Eight. next thing we need to give it a few permissions specifically the signature spoofing permissions let us open this and if you do the self check you will notice that things are installed but they are not working so spoofing permission is not checked how do you give the spoofing permission of course depends on the rom also but just press and hold go into application info go into permissions because the rom supports signature spoofing you have the option of spoof package signature tap on that and say allow then we can go back and give it rest of the permissions as well so contacts allow files and media allow phone allow and then you can also give it the sms permission so allow strange enough sms permission allow is not working we are going to fix that next thing let us go back into micro g and then check a few more things so if you want to add your google account which of course you do want to make sure that google device registration service is enabled enable the toggle and as you can see last registration so that is done then cloud messaging this is for your push notifications and again tap on the toggle enable it status connected safety net as I mentioned earlier in the video, safety net with micro G is not going to pass. However, feel free to enable the toggle. Then for your location modules, if you tap on it, it's going to crash. So we can go back into micro G, go into self checks and you will notice a few more toggles have now been enabled. For starters, let us give it the location request. So that is done. Let us try giving it this request also. That is also done. The only one remaining is your SMS and this one. So no issues, nothing to worry. Let us go back into our browser and then we can go back to the micro G page and herein let us do direct downloads. So the application which we are trying to update is your services core. As you can see, the version here is 0.2.21. So just tap on this download table it is going to download the apk select continue and once we get the download notification we are going to update the application using the file manager so i just got a notification that the apk was downloaded without any issues let us go back to our files application and we can go to the download folder change the view here is the apk which we just downloaded but before I update it, let me show you the current version of micro G. So here it is. Current version is 0.2.18. So we can now go back to our downloads and all you need to do is just install this latest APK, which we have downloaded. 
and as you can see it was installed successfully and now if i check my micro g version it should be updated so here it is 0.2.21 and now let us try and give it the sms permission so here it is micro g app info permissions sms allow we can now go back bam working without any issues next thing we need to do is we do need to reboot our device once so we have booted back into arrow os and now we can go back into micro g check for location modules bam location modules are now working without any issues let us go into self check as well and as you can see it has access to location this one is not like necessarily needs to be done and phone sky has correct signature so this is one step which we might have missed because you do need to go into this play store which is installed application info go into permissions and give it all the permissions as well so spoof package signature allow this one we can go back contacts allow them similarly give it all the permissions it wants location is also needed along with your phone application and sms if sms does not work then there is nothing to worry about so sms is not working right now but it has all the other permissions and now we can go back into micro g perform the self check again and as you can see this option the correct signature one which was not checked earlier is now checked request permission to location doesn't really matter it is going to work without any issues here it is let us allow apple's unified nlp backend and while using the application go back try it one more time to see if it is checked nope it's nothing to worry about in fact we were able to check it now once we chose a location module provider and now you should be able to log into your play store download the apps whatever you want to do use your google account as well without any issues next up the question which i will get next is what if i want to remove it removal is pretty easy go to your file manager application and this here is the download folder select the file which we had flashed and then go ahead and rename this and this time instead of system add the word uninstall so uninstall hyphen i am adding for my personal convenience and say okay once this is done we can now go back into our custom recovery which is twrp so same process turn off your device press and hold power and volume up together and once you see the twrp recovery logo feel free to let go of the button combination of course you can use any custom recovery which lets you flash zip files and go into install we are automatically in the download folder select this file which is now renamed uninstall and the name of the file and then swipe to confirm flash and this time it is going to remove micro g so here it is uninstalling and say reboot system and there it is we have booted back into arrow os and now if i open my application drawer in fact micro g might be left over because we had installed it explicitly feel free to uninstall it because we are trying to remove it and then you can reboot your device and you should be good to go and there it is peeps that is how you install micro g on android 11 without having to root it and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.